Canary Island Pine, Pinus canariensis. A single leader, very tall growing pine tree with long needles and horrible cones. The pine cones are the main reason we're doing work out here because this is in a condominium complex and they're growing everywhere. They've got these rock hard cones that come off quite easily and cars are being damaged by the, by the trees. So fortunately we can get the bucket to most of them, but uh, even when we rope branches down, the cones seem to fall off of these things. There's another issue with Canary Island Pines. They're such a fast growing tree that a lot of times they grow much too fast in the uh, containers. And if, if they grow too fast in the containers, they become root bound and a lot of times you'll get a girdling root. So if you have a tree that goes abruptly into the ground and even comes in a little bit, you've got a potential problem. These are not. These have got a nice root flare. You can see how they, they flare out at the base and they've got a root system. So these trees were planted as younger trees. But I've seen in many of my complexes, these trees that uh, grew, grew too fast in the containers. They planted them anyway. Now this is kind of interesting. Lucy was over here and she said, feel this. I don't know if you can hear that. All the way around this tree feels hollow. And if I compare that to the other trees, it's entirely different. Can you, can you hear that? I can feel it up underneath. So, what does that tell me? Well, I can't see any clear cracks in the soil. I can't see any separation around here. Um, it's an it's an educated guess, but I'm thinking that in the storms, this tree got whipped around pretty good and lifted up some of the roots and settled back in and there's some hollows underneath. So the question is, is this tree dangerous? I really don't know, but there's something to pay attention to. So maybe we ought to bring this one up to the, the board. But uh, when we remove a tree like that, that doesn't have any clear evidence of the hazard other than a potential problem, um, then a lot of questions get raised, a lot of eyebrows get raised. Some people actually think that we're uh, trying to scare them into doing more work, but that's not true. Ah, another issue. Do you see all the green on the asphalt? These trees put out just unbelievable amounts of pollen. We took out a uh, flowering pair that died here and a flowering pair that died there. I'm going to grind those out now. But the pollen was completely blown away, completely cleared up yesterday. Everything was totally clean. And in one day's time, all the cars are coated. Everything is, is just dusted. And it's all from these Canary Island pines. So I guess the moral of the story is really think about the trees that you choose to plant, especially in a fairly crowded environment like this one. Big hazards to cars and a pain in the butt to trim.